what is kingdom greatness? <clears throat> By that I mean, what is greatness in the Christian movement, the kingdom of God under the lordship of Jesus? What is what is greatness in that? Is it the guy who preaches to 40, 50,000 people on Sunday? We have churches that big today. We have, well, I think there's one church in America, it's 100,000 people on, on an average uh, weekend. It, does that make for kingdom greatness alone, okay? What is kingdom greatness? Well, Jesus talked about that. And there's a passage in Matthew 20, verses 20 through 28. I want to read it and comment. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus with her sons, and kneeling down, asked a favor of him. What is it you want, he asked. She said, grant that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. She's thinking about a political kingdom. I, I guarantee you that's what she's thinking about. And they, they thought that's what was coming. Okay, they thought it was about overthrowing Rome and establishing Jesus as the king. Wrong! It's about an internal kingdom, the kingdom of God that will take on its total fruit at the day of the Lord. Okay, verse 22, you don't know what you're asking, Jesus said to them. Can you drink the cup I drink that I'm going to drink? We can, they answered. And what he meant by that can you take the cross like I'm going to take the cross? And they said, oh, of course we can. Of course we can. Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink from my cup, but to sit at my right and my left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my Father. In other words, God the Father has the, those kind of things set in place. I don't. That's up to God the Father. When the ten heard about this, they were indignant with the two brothers. Jesus called them together and he said, in other words, they're fussing because they wanted to be the great ones, okay? We want to be the honchos. We want to be the guys that is right and is left. We want to get the recognition. So Jesus called them all together. You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them and their high officials exercise authority over them. This is not about being a big shot exercising authority, okay? It's not about being a government official or any of that stuff. Verse 26, he says, not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to be great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life a ransom for many. Jesus and what he did when he came to earth define kingdom greatness. What did he do? He came to serve. He came to serve us. How? By going to a cross, taking our sin in his body when he was nailed to a cross, and dying to remove our sin. That's kingdom greatness. Jesus establishes that. Kingdom greatness for us is to serve as Jesus served, to be a servant. I worked with a, a pastor when I was young. This was in start, 1975 to 78. I worked with a man named Herb Reed. And her, I got frustrated with Herb sometimes because he wasn't into preaching and building the church. He was the lead pastor. And it frustrated me sometimes. But the dude had a pastor's heart. I remember one uh, event. Uh, <clears throat> he was doing some other things and I got called to the hospital because he couldn't go. A guy had been in a motorcycle accident and been on life support for a few days and they they said that he was he was passing away fast and somebody needed to get down there to be with his wife so I went <clears throat> while I was there the guy died and what they what they said at the hospital was uh the patient expired that's how they say it they told me that and they went out and told this guy's wife she started flailing and screaming and yelling and rolling in the floor and I thought what am I going to do to get her calmed down and Herb had been working with him, okay? And Herb came walking through the door right then. And he'd been he'd been serving this woman and her husband, okay, who died from a brain injury from a motorcycle accident. He'd been sharing with them and working with them and serving them. You know what happened to that girl when he walked through the door? She stood up, fell into his arms, weeping. He cried with her. He served her. And he took care of her. I'll never forget that moment. Why? Because Herb served her, okay? That's what we're called to do. We're called to serve people like Jesus did. We need it. That is kingdom greatness. Serving people like Jesus did is kingdom greatness. I've always tried to do that ever since I saw Herb do, operate that way with that girl. Unbelievable, unbelievable compassion, 
unbelievable service. That's greatness in the kingdom. We all need to find it. I hope you will subscribe to my channel, give me thumbs up, make comments, and help me get this kind of thing out to more and more people.